Okay, today we're going to have a look at a Brown and Sharp number 13. Uh, this is a um, universal uh, kind of a tool grinder and a cylindrical grinder all combined in one. Uh, has lots of different uh, operations it can perform. Uh, the wheel head goes up and down as well as uh, rotates. Uh, you've got a lot of taper adjustment on the table. You've got a swiveling headstock. Um, machines, if you can get all the original tooling, there was lots of accessories to do uh, uh, tool grinding and cutter grinding and other things like that. But the machine we're offering here today has an ID attachment, which we're going to show you later, uh, how that gets attached on here. There's a few chucks. Uh, this has a collet system that you remove this and put the chuck on or a faceplate. Uh, there's several collets that come with the machine. Uh, it's in wonderful condition. I'm going to go ahead and start it up for you. It's 220 volts, three phase. That's the grinding wheels on here right now. Uh, start, the hydro uh, start the workhead, you pull the lever up here. You have four different speeds you can adjust here. Also there's four different, or you know, by changing the belt speeds on the headstock. Uh, me the mechanical movement here is just that, it's mechanical. If there's an electric motor with a lot of gearing, uh, you select your speeds over here. Machine gets lubricated, has a uh, pump built into the base. And you always know that it's working by looking in that window there and seeing the drips. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, the machine. You know, you've got your taper adjustment on this side, your tail stock. A headstock that, like I said, there's some several uh, accessories that uh, come with the machine and other ones that are still available uh, that are out there, eBay or whatever. And that's pretty much it. We're going to shut it down now and we're going to come back in a little bit with it set up for uh, internal grinding. And to do that, we're going to have to take uh, the tailstock off and change the pulley arrangement a little bit. And you have to shift the motor over. Uh, it's all, it's actually marked in the back there. And this, uh, this pulley back here will end up being the pulley that drives the ID spindle. All right, thank you very much.